Welcome to the first press conference of the third day of the FIDE <coughs> Candidates Tournament. We have Wesley So and Dean Laurent here with us. Happy that everybody is here once again. And uh, the game finished in a draw. Uh, Wesley, I was wondering how does it feel finally to play with white pieces in this tournament in the candidates? Um, yeah, well, it's kind of a relief, although, of course, the color doesn't guarantee anything. But uh, after losing my first two black games, I'm relieved that I don't play all black in this tournament. <laughs> Were you happy with the outcome of the opening stage? Um, <laughs> or you were expecting something else <laughs> today? Um, well, after my first two losses, it's quite difficult to have the mindset for an all-out game. And, um, and uh, yeah, well, I have to take what I can. <laughs> I prefer to be more ambitious. But as it's clear from my first two games, uh, having great ambitions can also backfire. So, mm, not totally happy with the outcome of the opening, but uh, I'll take what I can. Yeah. I think what, you, what can you comment on the opening stage, please? What can you say? Um, uh, till which moment did you know the theory? Yeah, today? it's uh, mm, not sure. Although I, have, I haven't played this line before, but it was played by many strong grandmasters. And the move rook f d eight I would prepare is some time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Lebon oh. Lebon played Lebon plays uh, rook f e eight here. I think he has three or four games with rook f e eight. But mm -hmm. you know, maybe Ding is a Ding plays better. Uh, do you think rook f d eight is improvement? <laughs> uh well, according to Ding, it's the best move. Yeah, rook <laughs> f d eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. because the yeah, I, mean because the I don't want to remember. Uh, what the other people play because it's, there are many variations and the move like rook e8 and then king king of8 is very strange for me, so I try to find some Im improvement. Okay. Yeah, maybe Lebon will also play rook f8 in the future. Yes, so it's a new line move. with an improvement maybe. Well, because very simple idea, huh? Black just wants to play bishop f8 and c5, I think, to kick my bishop on d4. So let's say Black decides to give up e file, but to keep the rooks, something like this. Uh huh. Yeah. And the thing is, Black has a bishop pair too, so can't really take advantage of the e file. I mean, if I play bishop e five, he just plays uh, bishop c five. Yeah. Here, I saw if I play bishop f eight, I was afraid of rook e five. Ah. Uh -huh. Rook e. Then you have to take on f three. Mm -hmm. Then nine take. And. I I cannot play C5. Because yes, because mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, this is... not so happy about this position. So but then you can ah, go back bishop D6, then mm, rook E1. Just, yeah, just go back. Mm -hmm. After knight F3, yes. Bishop <coughs> E6. It's just a, it's the same line as queen F3. Yeah. yeah. So, so when I play rook C8, no, yes, take, take. If he play Here you decided to, let's oh, say if he play queen f5, ah. bishop f5. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. yes. Mm -hmm. if, he, and if he takes first, <laughs> old fashioned. <laughs> yeah, knight c4, I prefer play c5 here. Ah, I thought bishop f8. Oh. C5. Knight d6, rook d6. And let me help. Knight d6, rook d6. Oh, white has no tricks, yeah. Bishop e5, rook d8. Rook d7. Or rook d7. Rook d7. Ah, so c5 is totally equalizing. Bishop, what about bishop g7, you have c4. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. okay. Take here. Yeah, c4. Uh -huh. Or take first, yeah. Yes, I, I should take. <laughs> take. Um, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I think C5 is a very interesting that move. Mm -hmm. Well, see, yeah. Also, Bishop F8 is fine. 
but yeah. But here you decided, let's say, to simplify, not to simplify, to exchange pieces. Could you keep still the position here, or it was ah. the moment you had to do so, Bishop D5, to go yeah, to this concrete position? I didn't really see a, a way, may I consider everything. Uh, well, maybe Rook A7 to prevent C5, but... Yeah, no. Rook A7. Oh, Bishop B8, Rook A5. Wait, Bishop B8? Rook B7, C5. Oh, take, take. Can't you take mm, B on the five? Rook on B5. C5, no? On the five. Um. You don't see anything. Huh? I, I'm going to play Rook A8 after Rook A7. Ah. Ah. After rook a7, rook a8, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Ah. I'm going to play rook Immediately. A8. Yes. Black. Ah. ah, rook a8. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then rook b7, rook b8. No, uh, the other one. Okay, sorry. The other one. Is so you didn't want to have this rook on the seventh rank? Yeah. <laughs> So it would be another option, I guess. Yes, not yeah. to play the bishop d5. Uh, rook, but yeah, rook a7. <coughs> but you think black is okay here also? Yeah, well, also the thing is that if I play rook a7, if I control the a-file, maybe he can try to control the e-file, say rook e8. Uh, no, I think no? rook e8, queen f5, rook a6. Check King G2. Okay. Yeah, I have to ask for Levon's opinion. How to? I think <laughs> he will <laughs> have his opinion about his game <laughs> today. Um, so let's uh, see what happened. Any critical moment here you would like to show, or it was more or less Maybe balanced? Maybe rook b5 is slightly better than rook a5. Rook b5? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So instead of... Um, ah, yeah, I was thinking maybe you can play rook a8. Uh, my rook can get stranded on here. You have threaten rook a2. Uh, yeah. Yeah, my rook somehow stranded. And the point is I have to move my knight in order to be able to move my bishop, but then black has some bishop c4 ideas. So, um, after that... So here I thought for a very mm -hmm. please, please. long time here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I wonder why what you were yeah, thinking. I should take, I'm not sure, look b2 and... Uh. But uh, mm. rook a c1? Yeah, rook a c1. Rook a8? Or? And then rook, rook b1. Oh, rook c2? Mm -hmm. Rook e2? Um. <laughs> draw. Ah, so it's also an, an easy way to draw. Yeah, uh, I saw this line, uh, rook b1, rook e2, knight d3. Uh, if you play h5, then oh. it's... Uh, it's like your your game against Topalov, remember? <laughs> Thingfield Cup 2016. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but black is okay here, yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's also possible, but I was not sure about my calculation, so I decided to Play it simple. <laughs> yeah, the thing is with the bishop pair, black can almost never lose. Yeah, it's so it's a, they keep the balance even though you have the pawn up in this uh -huh. ending. Yeah, yeah, I think Levon has kept the balance even though he's two pawns down in some game. <laughs> even <Yeah>. two pawns, <laughs> <laughs> you can put a few more and uh -huh. still it will be a draw. Yeah, I think it was, uh, thank you for the great analysis and uh, I wish you all the best uh, in the next round and ha have a good free day. <laughs> ah yeah, free day. Okay. Yes, tomorrow. Thank you.